Alright, welcome to my Japanese Strixhaven set booster opening number three. Uh, we're look still looking for the elusive uh, demonic tutor, so let's start it now. The openings. Oops. Honestly, I think these box. I, I didn't think box opening would be fun, but since you know, there's no more like real life drafts. It, it's kind of it's kind of fun in a way. It's like it's kind of it's like ooh, like there's a little bit of like the experience of playing in a draft. Except you know, you just get these cards that obviously I can't do anything with them because I'm not playing in a tournament with them. But it, it's like it's still fine to do it. The smell of fresh cards. Yeah, it's like the fr the new card smell is like the main attraction. Like, I mean, this is this is from like a purely financial standpoint. This is a terrible idea. I don't do it, but you know, I, I just do it because I'm trying to do different things here. And I mean, it's like it's fun, right? Okay, so lightning bolt art forest. Introduction of the prophecy frost trickster. Big play, Quandrix Campus, Quandrix Pledge Mage, Demogol Woe Eater, End the Pests, uh, Valentin Lisette, Biblioplex, Village Rites, and a Foil, um, Moldering Karok. Okay, so that wasn't like the best. I, I don't know what controls whether like some of these packs have like two rares or not. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think it's like some of them have like two rares. It's not because of like the archives or whatever. It's just like they actually just have like two rares in them. Right? Not like foils. Not foils, just two rares. Okay. Open the next pack. Waken the Blood Avatar Island Elemental Summoning Varian Books Cogwork Archivist Study Break Ageless Sentinel, I don't remember like Blood Age General, Stonebinder Similiar, Go Blank, Dramatic Finale, Strategic Planning, and a Foil Tangle Trap. Okay. What we got here? We got. Horn Sculptor, Forest, Expand Anatomy, Pillar Drop Rescuer, Fuming Effigy, P Pilgrim of the Ages, Pillar Drop Warden, Flunk, Test of Talents, Mentor's Guidance, A Snarl, um, I think Adventurous Impulse and a Foil, Foil Cogwork Archivist. Yeah. Maybe next week I'll open uh, Modern Masters 2017. <laughs> Orange Polo like Uncle Roger, yeah. Uh, now my friend, my friend actually was like, bought me like n new shirts. Like I don't know if that was like a like a sign. It's like oh, I, I think you're just wearing like the same blue shirt over and over again. It's funny. The same blue shirt. Uh, magna, mag, magna, magma opus, planes, mascot exhibition, whatever, stone, stonework spirit, stone by mentor, expel, thrilling discovery, explosive welcome, uh, practical research, mascot, 
interception, the something, I don't even know, like, DRS, Pintorius Foil, Uncle Mercurio, yeah. Yeah, that was, I, I don't, that kind of reminds me of, like, when I went to, like, Taiwan, like, 30 years ago. And then people were, like, saying, you're an uncle now. And I'm like, really? Wait, wait, how can I be an uncle at, you know, that age? But I guess, right, it's like, you can be an uncle when you're, like, five, technically, right? It, it's not, it's not, like, impossible. It could just, it could happen, though, right? You know, it's like, it could definitely happen. I'm actually wearing orange and black, so like I'm I'm representing the giants, so like Hunter Pence would be like excited or not, I don't know. Depending on if he was looking or not. Let's see. Revel and Silent Island. Uh Reduce the Memory, Tome Shredder, Excavation Wall. Illustrious Historian, Relic Sloth, Humble Juke, Zephyr Boots, Team Pendant, Gnarl Professor, uh, Whirlwind Denial, Alternate Art, and a, um, Oil Teach by Example. Yeah. I think that was, like, the first, uh, that was the first, no, that wasn't, there was an Adventurous Impulse in there, too. There was also Adventurous Impulse. That was like alternate art. I was like wondering if that's the only alternate art now. Hey, next extinction, how's it going? Hey there, man, man. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while. I had like some master sets I was opening to. The Roman Denial art is awesome, yes, yes. I was opening master sets like a couple weeks ago, but I only have like a limited number of those, right? Shadrick, Silver Quill, Swamp. Um, illuminate history. A lot of these words, a lot of these cards had like honestly had like the same name. It's just like change, change like one syllable or something. Make your mark. Twin scroll shaman. Enthusiastic study. Lore hold campus. Lore hold pledge mage. Combat professor. Storm kiln artist. Hall of oracles. Grape shot and a foil archway commons. Yeah, somebody had sent a link to, um, like, an eBay listing for, like, a War of the Spark oil sheet or something like that, and it said Battle of the Lights un uncut sheet, or whatever, because it was, like, in Japanese or something, but then, like, the translation, I guess, of War of the Spark comes out to, like, Battle of the Light, which sort of makes sense. But, I don't know, it's, it's not like, it's a little hard to understand. Does anyone remember, like, when, uh, there was a huge fiasco with, uh, the War of the Spark Mythic Edition, and that's like, and then, like, they gave out a bunch of, um, no, it was like, yeah, it was War of the Spark Mythic Edition, and they just gave out, like, a bunch of, um, War of the Spark foil, foil sheets, or whatever, uncut sheets, or whatever, like, people. I remember, like, I was one of those people that was frantically trying to, like, order the Mythic Edition, and then, uh, of course, like, eBay was, like, extremely unresponsive when I was trying to, like, order it, and then, like, I thought I ordered it, and then, like, ten minutes later, it was, like, my order didn't, got cancelled, and I tried ordering it again. Like, I tried ordering it again, like, 30 minutes later, and of course it was, like, not possible at that point. I was, I was kind of frustrated. I was, like, kind of looking forward. It, it wasn't because I was looking to, like, resell the the boxes. It was, I was actually looking to get, like, another Jace. I was like, oh, this isn't... I mean, it's it's technically more expensive this way to get, like, a Jace. The mind scope. Can the, can, can the card cam focus anymore? Uh, it might... Hang on a second. I can fix it, but I'm going. I'm going to have to like, like, uh, because like you can see it focuses sometimes, but like I mean, I might be like moving it too fast, right? 
I can move it like closer. Does that help? It's probably because the light is changing in the room. I can't. Give me a second. I might be able to fix that by doing this. Or not. It's a lighting issue, I think. Because I've already. Ow. I've already, like, changed it in the, um. I changed it in the, the software. Like, I can go back into the software and try to change it, but then I'm gonna have to, like, pause this for a second while I do that. It's awkward. Yeah. It was better holding them a bit further away. I see. That might be it, yeah. I don't know. Let me, like, look. It's a lighting issue, I think. Right, Swamp, Spirit Summoning. Something, Cervic. I, I, I'm starting to forget the name of the cards now. Scourge, Colony, Tangle, Vine. Tangle Wrap, Biograph, Novice Dissector, Hall Monitor, Access Tunnel. Ooh, wow, cool alternate art dragon. Look at that. That kind of looks like Godzilla art. I don't know what the chances of getting like an alternate art dragon is. Cause I remember I got like, uh, um, I got one of those, I got like one of the, I got like the green black dragon by Ruff. Yeah, I got, like, the green-black dragon, but it wasn't an alternate art or whatever. It was extended, but not alternate art. So I guess there's, like, a chance of getting a, um, extended regular art. And then also a chance of getting an extended alternate art dragon, which is cool. That dragon is really cool looking. But, um, wait, was there, was there anything else? No, there was just, like, a opt. Or something like that. We just get like all the ops. All the ops. And a uh, oil expression or whatever. Oil expressions. Hopefully this doesn't make everything fall off. I'm trying to get the um the other light set up. Wait, wait, just do it this way. This should work. Because I do have like another light source. The problem is I have to uh, plug it in. It's like the struggle of like the modern person is uh, not having enough UB USB ports for everything. Okay, that was better. Not enough USB ports for everything. Did you watch the Jamie Topples tournament earlier? You have two USB hubs now, yeah. I mean, I have a bunch of USB ports on my computer, but I, I needed actually like a separate USB port because like, I mean, there's just like a lot of things I need. The USB for the power, but not necessarily to be like hooked up. I, I don't need it to be hooked up to the computer because, like, it's not like I'm transferring any data from my lamp to the um, I'm not transferring data from the lamp to the computer, but just having the light is obviously good, right? So, planes, elemental summons, unwilling ingredient, hunt the specimens, infuse the vitality, mage hunter, plumb the forbidden. Solve the equation, decisive denial, retriever phoenix, tesseret gambit, foil biomathematician. Mm -hmm. So 
Lore Hulk, and Mountain. Introduction, Annihilation, Howlin' Shield Mage, Silvercoat Shield Mage, Silvercoat Campus, Arrogant Poet, Spiteful Squad, Spell Satchel, Magna, Mag, Magma Opus, Dream Strix, uh, God's Willing, and a foil, foil blood agent, and alpha cabu. Okay, I remember last time I actually got a um, last time I got like a contagion engine. That was kind of nice. It was like a prof like last time it was like Professor Onyx regular, a tainted pack regular, and a uh, contagion engine. So it was kind of nice. From the list. Hey there, Card Tiger. How's it going? Does that light have a different brightness? Maybe you can turn down the light a level, yeah. The table mat has slid down some. Yeah, no, because I I probably accidentally bumped the camera when I was, um... When I was moving the camera, that's why I accidentally bumped the camera. I can change the light setting, yes. Maybe that only changes the color. That seems to only change the color and not like the light. I'm just gonna unplug it then if it's really if it's really obnoxious. Cause that that only changed the color. I thought there was like an actual brightness setting on it. That was awkward. No, I, I I should actually pay attention more to like the lighting for sure because eventually I do want to get into like making like like quality videos and stuff to put on YouTube. All right, Star Pupil, Forest, Necrotic Fumes, Beaming Defiance, Crushing Disappointment, Lash of Defiance, Rise of Exodus. Mage Hunters, Onslaught, Zimone, Kelpie Guide, Witherbloom Command. I think that's Negate or whatever. It's hard to tell. They just keep like changing the the stuff slightly. Then Ingenious Mastery and the Belfry Spirit. Uh huh. That's kind of cool. Why does the art, why does the symbol kind of look like the, uh, Ixalan symbol? I, I mean, it it, lo it kind of looks like the Ixalan symbol, but I know it's not the Ixalan symbol. It's like, it has to be like the Ravnica symbol. The Ravnica symbol. All right. All right. Good luck with the draft. Good luck. Hope you open mascot exhibition. A shale, islands, inkling summonings. Eager first year, first day of class. Creative outburst. Prismari apprentice. Snow day. Maelstrom muse. Ooh. Mythic dragon. Crackle of power. Gift of estates and a foil inkling summonings. That was kind of cool. So we've got like two dragons so far. You know. Dragons are always like nice for the collectors and stuff. They're like, ooh, dragon. For my collection and stuff. Okay. Biomathetician, Swamp. Environmental Sciences, Defend... Oh, it is getting a little bit blurry. Hmm. I don't know why that changes the, the blurriness sometimes. Campus Guide. Prismari Campus, Prismari Pledge Mage. Waterfall Aerialist. 
Spectacle Mage, Emergent Sequence, Snarl, Claim the Firstborn, and a Foil Spectre Defense. Zimone, Planes, Introduction, Annihilation, Pigment Storm, Pop Quiz, Teach by Example, Resculpt, Elemental Masterpiece, Quandric Cultivator, Quandric's Apprentice, Archmage Emeritus, Faithless Looting, everybody's favorite. Ooh, Foil Mythic. Foil Mythic. It's probably not worth anything though. The thing is like. I remember I got like a foil Hoffrey and it was actually like not worth anything. It's like nobody's playing Hoffrey in anything, but like foil color is mythic is cool looking at least. High quality blurriness. Yeah, I know. Like imagine if I like actually took time to work on my video setup and stuff. That'd be much better. But Achillean Mountain. Containment Breach, Star Pupil, Essence Infusion, Witherbloom Pledge Mage, Witherbloom Campus, Cram Session, Rip Apart, Secret Rendezvous, Sedgemore Witch, Time Warp, oh, it's a regular Time Warp, and a uh, foil, foil something, the foil leather acceptance. Do the Time Warp again because of the EDH. Right. Actually thinking nowadays maybe maybe it's only worth like looking at all the cards when it's like a master set because there might be cards like in the master set people have never seen before but like I kind of figure of like Strixhaven, everybody's seen a lot of these already, right? But I don't mind showing it still, alright? Tanazir Quandrix, Island, Pest Summoning, Southern Breakthrough, Ogier Battleseer, Heated Debate, Dragon's Approach, Golden Ratio, Aether, Helix, Divide by Zero, Leonin Light Scribe, um, I think it's also Duress. Foil, foil, draconic intervention, and grim harvest. Things are looking grim. Stuff. It is quite grim. There's definitely some reason they choose the cards on the quote unquote list, but I'm not really sure. Grim Harvey S. Hey to Yellowhand, how's it going? Thank you for showing off your collection. Yeah, so, so so there's about like 30 cards they put in these set boosters as like kind of an incentive for like people to buy them over like drafts. Because like there are occasionally like a pretty expensive like set card, like the, the, the Contagion engine was like a kind of expensive set booster. Like imagine they put like Cabal Coffers as like a set card in one of these. They would get like a lot of people to buy them. Make your mark. Forest, fractal summoning, leather acceptance, professor's warning, promising dusk mage, guiding voice. Hmm. Exhilarating elocution, expressive iteration, grinning ignis, Paulo Vitor. Uh, I don't even know what. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's something, uh, I don't know. And a sp spined Karok. I don't know. Spined Karok, yeah. I remember I actually played through. Oh, it's Agonizing Remorse, thanks. I actually played through, um, a. I played through like a JRPG once without knowing any Japanese and somehow I actually beat the game. Oh, glad to hear that the treatment is going well. 
I'm I'm okay. Just uh, had like a busy day. Needed to to some stuff earlier in like a different stream. I was doing like a guest appearance in their stream. It lasts about like two hours, and I'm doing this stream, and then I've just been going in between all the different stream because there's a bunch of people playing the Jamie Topples tournament. All right, uh, Jadzi planes. Mercurial Transformation, Mage Duel, Charge Through, Master Symmetrist, Symmetry Sage, Wormhole Serpent, Academic Dispute, Eye Twitch, Quandra's Command, uh, Memory Lapse, uh, The Reckless Amphimancer, and Bone Horde. You know. Which is a p new Pyrexia card. I do have some, like, new Pyrexia packs I could open, I guess, but I don't know if that's going to be interesting. I'll probably just open some Masters cards. Was the back of that card half a half magic and half black? Which, which we talking about? Let me, like, look. It, it might have been... Oh, you're probably looking at the token. Because, like, the token is, like, ripped or whatever. It's the token's ripped because, like, it's it's just to make you, like, look at it. Like, oh, it's a Rips token, I see now. It's a cool thing, I won't lie. It is cool that they're like Rip tokens or whatever, but it's it's a little confusing. It's a little confusing, yeah. If there was like a really horribly misprinted card, it probably would have like uh, jumped out. It's like, it's like a misprinted Demonic Tutor. Uh, I'd probably just quit my job. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't think even like a horribly misprinted uh, Japanese foil demonic tutor would be like worth enough to like quit work and stuff. I don't think that's how that would work, right? So, oh wow! Apparently, uh, apparently Metal Mario won the tournament. Cool. You keep you keep expecting to see a stick of gum. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it looks cool. I don't know. Island, Expand Anatomy, Soothsayer, Adept, Field Trip, Archway Commons, Vortex Runner, Dina, Deadly Brew, Plarg, Multiple Choice, um... I don't know what that is again. I, I really should look at it. Oh, that art is Primal Command. Okay, just have maybe I just haven't seen. I I haven't looked at the art on Primal Com the new Primal Command. I just have no idea. I'm like I don't know. Yeah, it's probably Grape Shot. The thing is, like, I looked at the art for um, I looked at the art for Japanese Shock. Oh, thanks, Madman. So, cause I looked at the art for Japanese Shock. And I was like, Japanese shock looks like it could be a grape shock, but then somebody said, like, no, that's a shock. I'm like, well, that's because, like, the, the Japanese shock also has, like, a lot of, um, stuff flying out, flying everywhere. But then I don't see, like, the number, I don't see, like, the number two anywhere, which is, like, kind of misleading. I'm just like, I don't really understand. I don't quite understand. But it's okay. Yeah, so let's see what we got going. We got, um... Dean Augusta, Island, Intro to Prophecy, Spying Karok, Professor Zoomancy, Moldering Karok, Spectre Defense, Blood Researcher, Leech Fanatic, Detention Vortex, Sparring Regimen, Lightning Helix, and a uh, Foil... Arcane Subtraction. It, is Strixhaven really the worst draft set ever? I don't know. I, I feel like people are getting a little bit crazy. It means that the previous Japanese didn't end, yeah. Because that's something I've been hearing a lot. Like, people think Strixhaven is the worst draft set ever. And stuff. But, like, I don't know. What is the context of that? Like, I mean, I guess it's... it's it can't be as bad as, like, Abyssin Restored, right? Triple Abyssin Restored. Because that was pretty terrible. 
but anyways, uh, Urza's Rage, Mountain, Spirit Summoning, Eureka Moment, Leyline Indication, Biomathematician, uh, Brackish Trudge, Devouring Tendrils, Fortifying Draw, Fortifying Draft, um, Wandering Archaic, not Eldrazi, Cody, Uh, I think this is supposed to be compulsive research. It's kind of cool. A foil luminancer for you for your infect deck. New infect. The words are written on the card, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. I, I think people's opi people's opinion of the set is definitely going to be dependent on like some of their experience, like, people who are, like, consistently winning are probably going to be, like, much happier about it, right? I think. I don't know. Feels like people who are much, like, who are, like, consistently winning it, but, I mean, I guess there's definitely some situations where, um, you could be losing and still, like, enjoy the experience. Yeah, you can have card games that as you consistently won it as you did not enjoy. Yeah, that's fair. Teach by example, swamp, start from scratch, ley line, sorry, serpentine curve, square up, arcane subtraction, Birog befuddler, reckless antlemancer, um, needle thorn drake, honor troll, draconic intervention. What is this? Is this tainted pack? I don't know. I, it's hard to say, but, uh, um, Shambling Shell, hmm, oh, Tainamac, nice, okay, so we can put that in the pile, yeah, it does look like Tainted Pact, cool, that's Alter Art Tainted Pact, so it's really close, I mean, that's close to, like, a Demonic Tutor, right, it has the same casting cost as Demonic Tutor, I think probably the worst set I've personally played was like Rivals of Ixalan, but I mean that was also like my context of playing this, like I wasn't playing like the set like hours and hours, like 50 hours a week like some people are, or like making videos about it like 50 hours a week, or is it Tendrils of Agony, Island, Fractal Summoning, Biblioplex Assistant, Curate, Reject, Baryon Books, Hogwarts Archivist, Bookworm, oh man! Oh cool! Full Art uh, Mila, now I don't have to buy it, because I was going to get like one of these. I don't think it's actually worth that much, but... I definitely want it for the collection anyway, so that works out. Let me, let me, sorry, let me show it again. Right. Nobody is ever playing, like, the red side of this card. It, it, it's all about the fox. Foxes. Fox spin. Silver Coal Silencer, um... Gift of Estates? I don't, I think that's what it is. And then, like, a Fractal Summoning. I think that's supposed to be Gift of the States. I've already seen, like, the Japanese Revitalize, and no, it's not Japanese Revitalize. Because I've seen so many Japanese Revitalizes. I'm kind of, like, done with Revitalizes. Yeah. I can just use a proxy because of the same one. You did not enjoy Ikoria, that's fair. Yeah, I, I guess Ikoria was a little bit, um, they should have printed Tive or Abeyance, yeah. Maybe they were just afraid of, like, printing Tive, because Tive only costs one, right? So it's kind of like, maybe they thought it would be too broken to, uh, it'd just be too broken to print, like, Tive. I don't know. I can't believe those medium rares from, like, my 
old collection or they were like worth like five dollars like last year they're like 20 now like the, i'm talking about like the um like the seeds of innocence and stuff just like random random visions rares or like nobody's ever gonna play in anything but it's just like sure introduction of the prophecy forest te te teaching of the archaics study break Ageless Guardian, I, I don't know, uh, Blood Age General, Wither Bloom Apprentice, Mortality Spear, um, Overgrown Arch, Igneous Inspiration, Pestilent Cauldron, uh, Infuriate, I can read that, Foil, Foil Shale, Foil Shale, that's cool, that's pretty cool actually, and then a Tortured Existence, so. I can't believe, um, like, Cabal Coffers are, like, $100, $100 uncommon now, and, uh, like, Mystic Remora, Mystic Remora is, like, 30 bucks. I opened so much Ice Age. A Tortured Existence is definitely great in Poffer, I know that. I opened so many Ice Age packs. I don't know where- I, I probably threw away all my commons though, it's too bad. So many black influence cards, yeah. Witherbloom... Witherbloom... Command... Planes... Yeah, no, Tortured Existence has just a lot of fun combos, right? Yep, because of like, madness creatures. Pest Summoning... Throw Drop Rescuer... Fuming Effigy... Pilgr Pilgrim of the Ages... Rufa... Reflective Golem, Killian, Thunderous Order, Strict Proctor, um, Adventurous Impulse, De Foil Dean Plarg, or whatever. Yeah. Have you ever, like, just, like, gone back to your draft pile and then, like, found some card and, like, it's randomly, like, $50 now because it was, like, worthless before, but... Now it's like randomly fifty dollars. Reasons. Stone rain, forest, environmental sciences, pillar drop warden. Uh, stone beaks, sp stone hold spirit, stone, stonebound mentor, expel, thrilling discovery, home shredder, shade wing laureate, manifestation sage. Um, I think that's strategic planning, and then a detention vortex. Is a shining card a premium? You mean this one? It's a foil, yeah. What are we down to now? Give me a second. It's like five packs left. A chance to get demonic to their or bust. Sign the uh, Witherbloom art. Swamp. Tame and Breach, Excavated Wall, Illustrious Historian, Relic Sloth, Make Your Mark, Twin Scroll Shaman, Humiliate, Closing Statement, Snarl, Whirlwind Denial, Foil Charge Through. Yeah. Velamaka's Lore Hold, Mountain, Elemental Summoning, Enthusiastic Study, um, Lore, Lore Hold Campus, Lore Hold Pledge Mage, Combat Professor, Tenured Incaster, Karog Wrangler, Shale, Blot Out the Sky, uh, Urza's Rage, that's a really cool art. This Urza's Rage art is really cool. Oil Access Tunnel. 
I actually like the art on the Urza's Rage and the Safari, the old art, Safari's Rage and, um, Safari, sorry, Urza's Rage and Safari's Protection all art have, like, really cool arts on them. But they actually kind of capture the, um, the character, for sure. Alright, um... Another Thrill of Possibility signs, Arts, Planes, Inkling Summonings, Owlin, Shield Mage, um, Silverco Pledge Mage, Silverco Campus, Arrogant Poet, Spiteful Squad, um, Dueling Coach, Show of Confidence, Afreet Flame Painter, Cultivate, Foil, Thrill of Possibility. I think this is like the third foil, foil Japanese thrill of possibility I've gone in. Just, yeah. I've gone like a lot of those. Spectre of the Fen, Swamp, Expand Anatomy, Eager First Year, First Day of Class, Leather Receptance, Professor's Warning, Promising Dusk Mage, Guiding Voice, Cat Samurai with a Number 3 Headman, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why there's a cat on the Thrill of Possibility. Maybe cats are easily excited. Silver Quill Apprentice, Devastating Mastery, Infuriate Foil, Prismari Apprentice. Okay. And then here we go. Is it Demonic Tutor? Negate. Horus, Necrotic Fumes, Exhilarating Elocution, Fracture. The Fracture art really looks like it came straight out of Superman 2. Uh, Clever Luminancer, Professor Symbology, Return Pass Caller. Um, Lorehold Apprentice, Reconstruct History, Rushed Rebirth. Uh, I don't know what that is. I should look. Oh, Nazumi Grave Robber. That's kind of cool. I think I understand why, like, they don't do flip card like this anymore, because it's so hard to, like, understand which side it is. Like, if you're playing, like, if you're, like, you're playing a tournament, oh, it's memory lapse, sorry, thanks, man, memory lapse, but, like, if you're, like, playing a tournament, you don't know what side this is. Like, if you tap it, it's like, what side was it? It's like, it just re results in, like, a lot of confusion, and then people are like, are you sure that's actually flipped? I don't know. It, it probably it probably comes up a lot in tournament tournaments, right? At some point, probably. All right, all right. So what do we get? I think Night Eyes is still worth something. I gotta like look really quickly. It probably is. Let me check. Oh no, it's not worth anything. I was like, I can like actually just look up the list. I think it shows it. Is what is like the most expensive card on the list now? I gotta like look the list. It's like why goldfish is like kind of cool. But, like figuring out that stuff. Give me a second, because we can like look at it here. Why does it say like Cryptic Command is is seventy five hundred dollars? It's probably because somebody accidentally listed it like that. Cause 
Because sometimes, like, these, these priceless things are a little bit crazy. Like, it says Tulane is, like, $1,700. That's not really what it's actually worth, right? It can't be what it's actually worth. I'm also not sure what list I'm looking at. It could there could be like multiple lists at this point, right? I don't know. It it's it's be, it's probably because somebody listed it as being really really expensive, and then but it, it's not actually like really worth that much, right? It it, it just says that because to confuse people. I don't. I can kind of understand that. It says. I mean, mas so mascot exhibition foil is definitely not worth anything. I I think I think foil mythics look cool, but they're clearly not worth anything because like you just like look at them and like oh yeah nobody's ever gonna play that. It, it has to be like a playable mythic to be like worth anything in foil. It's just like an actual foil is is like it doesn't really mean a lot in the context of things. Right, it doesn't mean a lot. I mean, I think it was still like a good, a relatively good opening, though. Not not like the best, but not like the worst by any means. I go like look. Wow, is Japanese Tana pack really like fifty dollars? Wow. Okay. I guess it's, it's like because it's much cooler than like the uh, the English version. So let me put it back on the desk. Because I'm gonna take some take a. Take a pic, and then we'll go do something else, and I'll fix the camera afterwards. There we go. But yeah. Like, we've got like two dragons, a time warp, a tainted pack, and yeah. I mean, the fox card is probably like about five bucks, I think, because I was like looking at it online. I was like thinking, I want to get like a fox card. This would be cool. Actually, I know somebody somebody online was like selling the print or whatever of the fox card. But that was like a few that was like a hundred something bucks. I was like, I don't know, that's that's a lot. That's definitely a lot to wanna to spend on like art. Yeah. So no like really fancy foils, but we did get, you know, a couple things that are like nice to like look at. So and, and normally we just do this for the experience anyways. I might like open like a master's box next week, because I think it might be like more interesting. We've only I mean I think like opening Strixhaven boxes is fine. It's just it's not as captivating to the audience as like something different. But anyway, if you like this video, please check out the rest of the stream at Twitch TV slash Mercury We do a lot of uh, drafts, box opening. We're gonna try to do some other stuff like um, altars and stuff. So I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video.